Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris back with another video. Today, we are going to be going over the Android P Developer Preview 3 or the second edition of the beta for Android P. Now, I've already made a video on how to install this onto your device, um, but now they've made it even easier in the first beta to where you can just sign, uh, sign up on their website and it will actually come into it via an OTA to your phone. Now that makes it very easy. So let's go over a lot of the changes that are in Android P. It's a huge uh, visual overhaul from um, previously, but I've already made a first look of Android P when it was in the first developer preview. Check that video out. But at least this um, is different where we now have gesture control built in. Now in this new, uh, new developer preview, you do have the ability to clear all your recents here which was not present in the first one. Now, I wasn't aware of uh, split screen mode or anything like that, but you do actually have it by a long press of this little icon up here, as you can see, then you have split screen. So that is something I learned. And then you also have gesture control in regards to swiping left and right between your recents, things like that, and then quickly swiping to switch between apps, whereas before you had a double tap of your recents key to go back and forth like Alt-Tab. Now in this update, they made the transitions much smoother. There's a much shorter travel to get to your app tray now, um, so that's nice. And visually, they've now added a small kind of gradient uh, color, translucent color to the tray as you're swiping up. Now, if you pull this down, you do have all of your quick settings. It's now uh, between pages versus before it was scrolling up and down. So it's more consistent from left and right. As you can see there, your Google Home, uh, basically pane over there on the left side. Now, if we go over to system and the settings, and we can go down to advanced, we can see update to Android 9. As you can see there, June security patch, which is amazing. I'm glad that they were able to update the security patch, even though this is a developer preview. We still have the uh, Easter egg here at the moment, which is a very trippy P. Um, what do you think it's gonna be? I still think it's gonna be Popsicle of some sort or Peppermint, just because of the time of when the next pixel comes out. Um, it's kind of in that fall time frame, so who knows? Enough with that. Um, you still have your toggles for your volume over here on the right hand side to quickly change between mute, volume, and vibrate, and your media controls here which is separate now for your volume there, which is great. You can also then control different uh, Bluetooth devices that you may have connected. In the new uh, Android P uh, Beta 2, you, they do add 157 or so new emojis, which um, which is great, but at the same time, some of your friends and family won't be able to utilize or see them because a lot of apps and their phone may not be updated. So it it's kind of a wash moot point at that point. Um, if we go into display, they do have a new visual for the color section. So now you can actually see between saturated, boosted, and natural and how the colors change and how it may uh, look to you when you have that. Uh, visual change there. Battery, we have the uh, the adaptive battery, which uses kind of AI and being able to learn how your phone, um, what apps are used and how to save battery. So it's going to learn your behavior and save you battery more and more over time. In this, uh, in this beta, they don't have the wellness app, so you can't see how often you use apps, how many times you've opened them, which is unfortunate. It may come in a later update or when it fi finally releases, they may uh, incorporate that at that point. The brightness, um, they've changed the algorithm how it works. It's more um, logarithmic versus it's linear, so you may see a slight change with how the brightness slider works, but it's definitely much more consistent and smooth as you uh, slide that up and down. This update has uh, basically all the official APIs and things like that. Um, so a lot of under the hood things for developers so that way apps will work properly at that point. Um, there's a couple of visual changes as far as the, uh, the fingerprint scanner unlocking. They've uh, updated like the setup of the phone. Um, the colors and things like that. But I would say I've been using the Android P as my daily driver 
on my daily phone ever since the first release back, uh, when was it, maybe March, I think it was. Um, so I've been using it consistently as my daily driver. And the, yes, there are bugs. Um, for me, I never reset, factory reset my phone, I probably should have, but um, as far as uh, smoothness, this uh, beta 2 is much smoother than the first one, and um, it's it's made the phone when using GPS while talking on the phone or listening to media, um, all that is much smoother now. Um, I'm still running to a, a bug where I'm on a phone call and it shows HSPA versus LTE. Um, uh, that might be fixed with a factory reset. But a lot of awesome changes with Android P with the gestures, you do have the ability to turn off the gesture control if you wanted to. The fingerprint scanner has um, improved in speed over the first beta. It's still slower than than normal, but um, it's a little, little faster than before. Um, nothing as far as major crashes or anything like that, um, which I am happy to, to report and haven't had any issues. There's that clear all button, which they finally um, have there once again before they didn't. Now with Android P, they uh, they do now have this new feature built into um, when you, sometimes when you get text messages for uh, two-factor authentication, they usually send a code or something like that. So now they um, have the ability to quickly copy those uh, those codes directly to your clipboard and paste them into whatever app. Um, this both goes for notifications for heads up and also within the Google messaging app here, as you can see, there's the copy and there's the code. So that's super handy, super useful. Um, also another thing regarding copy is within the recents, you have the ability to actually copy text without having to go into that specific app to copy it. So that makes it so much easier to switch between two things that you're worrying about, um, whether it be a different app, let's say an address or something like that, and you're wanting to copy it, you don't have to go into the app switch between the other one and pasting it. You can just quickly uh, go over, copy it, and then switch between the other app now. Um, down here you do have um, kind of apps that uh, Google thinks that you're probably going to use or access next, um, which come up down here, and they do change depending on your usage and the time of day also. And then here you do have a an area where it'll suggest actions. Um, not so much su suggesting apps, but an action of what it thinks that you probably want to do next also. Um, so that's quick. I don't, I've never used it ever since they've released that feature at Google I.O., but um, that's something that might be useful for someone. Now there's a lot of things I probably didn't touch on um, just because I never made an initial first impressions video of Android P beta when they released it at Google I.O. A lot I've just taken for granted since using it as my daily driver. They do, on this beta they have added weather support, but for me it never shows on the lock screen or even on, uh, on the ambient display. It never shows the weather for me. Others have said that it's now been fixed, but maybe again, factory reset. But if you guys have any questions about Android P on the Pixel 2 XL, um, let me know. This also um, is available for the OnePlus 6, the Essential Phone, uh, the Xiaomi Mix 2S, um, and there's also an Oppo phone and also some Sony devices as well. So if you have one of those, you can install the Android P beta um, so that's a new partnership that Google has done first time ever. Thank you all for watching. If you guys have questions, once again, comment down below. I'll do my best to try to answer them for uh, the Android P on the Pixel 2 XL and the Essential Phone. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, guys.